I'm going back to uni on Monday and I'm turning 21 on Monday and I'm feeling so weird like so many changes are happening in my life at the moment like my brother's going to uni tomorrow and then I start uni on Tuesday and I turn 21 on Monday like it's just so many changes happening all at once and I'm just like I hate this like I hate change and I always just feel really weird on my birthday anyway but like this year like specifically because so much is going on around it if that makes sense it was with my family's day and it just kind of hit me that like everything's changing and like everyone's growing up and going in their different ways you know and this time next year i'm not i'm i'm not going to be in uni like what am i going to be doing do you know what i mean like this is like my last birthday when i'm in uni as well i know i shouldn't be thinking about things so deeply and like so far into the future but that's just how my mind works it just immediately jumps there but i saw my family saying that was really nice although when we started eating i was like i literally can't eat like i'm so stressed and so overwhelmed and then I was like, okay, no, we're fine. And had an amazing cake. And I was playing dress up with my cousins. And it was really nice. Life is feeling quite unsettled and overwhelming at the moment. emotional person but i don't think that's true i think i'm very emotional about everything in like lots of different ways but today my brother moved into uni and it was just so weird like i was just here and i was like whenever like we're just growing up i don't know i was just feeling so weird and i was like i'm going back to uni tomorrow and i'm turning 21 tomorrow i'm not a child anymore like i'm old and i hate that um yeah i've just had a really weird day i've just been feeling very strange but i'm actually feeling okay now i'm feeling better um now i've tried to like put things into perspective i think my problem is that i just like overthink things in an unnecessary amount like i'd be jumping like a year into the future and i'm thinking what am i going to be doing then the whole summer i was meaning to do my dissertation work finally wrote out my plan so thank you to myself for doing that because otherwise i was gonna have no work to show on wednesday when i go back and also i have been meaning to send my teachers the whole summer the letter i got from my psychiatrist saying about my adhd and ocd because he told me to send it to my teachers just so they're aware and i've lost the letter so i've emailed him to forward me something because i've been meaning to do this all summer and i just don't know where i put the letter and i've left it to the last minute i work well under pressure like i <laughs> with my dissertation work i have been thinking the whole summer while i've got the whole summer and now it's like a day or two before i go back and i'm like okay well now the fire is up my ass to do it been watching drag race i've been uploading some photos onto my vintage which i've been taking a lot more seriously as this is something that i want to try and like do after uni um so go follow my instagram for my deep up of vinted it's called out of this wardrobe with a dot but i'll put it on the screen and then my vintage is just jessica heart of two e's like my instagram because i've been trying to change it but 
um they won't let you change your username until like all your transactions have like gone through which is really annoying because whenever i'm about to be like okay well i can change it now someone buys something and then i can't um but my depop is out of this wardrobe but everything will be down below so if you want to go follow that i've been taking that a lot more seriously and i'm feeling really passionate about it like i've been putting a lot of effort into it and i'm feeling really good about it like it's been making me super happy to do that so i'm really glad that i've got something that makes me so happy because that is something that everyone needs just one thing that just makes you happy that you know you can do and it will like make your day better you know <laughs> Oh, we know. Do you like them? I thought we were getting purple ones. Well, no, we were going to get purple ones, but we couldn't find them in my stock. In my size. I'm like, okay, that weren't ridiculously expensive. Yeah, these are so cool. These will go with the new jumper, actually. Imagine the new jumper, the new jeans, and these together. Maybe that's my birthday fit. Just put on for you now. Perfume from Marc Jacobs, it smells so good. Let me show the bottle. This is really cool. Can you see? And it's got a cherry on it. Oh, I'm getting cramp. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And then I feel like I sound really nasally. My hair yeah. fever's really bad this morning. Some oracle cards. A little crystal angel rose quartz. This little wellness book with my name on it. It's very oh, your finger. It's really cute and it's actually much better than what I'm doing at the moment because it has like every day intention for the day, your sleep, your meals, your self-care, what went well and your thoughts and feelings for the day. And finally we got the cloud jelly cat, which I've literally been wanting for so long. Two pillows, this one for my uni cushions. Well they both are for me. And then this one. <laughs> and then this jumper, which I've been wanting for so long. I don't even know how my mum managed to get it because every time I look on Stussy it's literally out of stock. And it was actually so funny because well, didn't we see that when we saw the blanket in anthropology as yeah, well? Yeah, the lady in the shop was wearing it. This blanket from anthropology and it's so soft you can't feel it but just trust and then these jeans from knee high and i like them because they've got stars on the bottom cute that's very me so my mum got me this wellness journal and it's so cute and it's got my name and this is so much better than what i'm doing at the moment because at the moment i'm just kind of like writing in a diary but this has a bit more structure so just about to start packing to go back to Winchester later and by packing I mean just shoving everything into one bag um also another present I got from my family my nan my auntie and my two uncles so I got this Vivian Westwood ring I don't know if you can see that it's like the belt one it's so nice but yeah I'm just gonna shove everything into a bag although my cloud's gonna come with me in the car and be my passenger to keep me company on my drive. What should we name her? I'm trying to think. What's a good like C name? Claudius? No. What about like Calvin? <gasps> Calvin the Cloud. No, that's so cute. Okay. Um. Right. Gonna pack and then my mum's making me French toast before I leave, so. Me 
my mum have been saying the last couple of days that we just think my top lip just disappears when I smile. What do you mean we think? It's no, it's actually guys. factual. <laughs> so guys, I think I might have to get lip fillers. But when you had a brace, you were kind of more pouty. Yeah, and like so my maybe you need to just get another brace. No, no, but okay, so my lips like this. Yeah, just normal. And then <laughs> where's the upper top lip? Top lip, where is it? <laughs> Like, literally, I feel like my jelly cats have got more of a top lip than me. Oh, by the Ooh. way, named it Calvin. Calvin the Cloud. But, basically, I feel like I need to get lip fillers. Just but like a bit. scary. No, I don't think You don't think want so. a trap out. No, if, like, you go to a good place and just get, like, a little And bit. you don't want a bigger upper lip than a lower lip? I think that looks no, you want to you want to go to a good place that just kind of like evens them out without it looking that knows like what they're doing. yeah without it looking like you've actually got lip fillers, mm. you know. So.